Uh, my talk is kind of uh, complementary from uh, Rick's talk. Now I'm going to talk about drivers, how the drivers behave. Uh, uh, I also add the question regarding how to read from the, the nearest uh, the nearest the data center. So I'm going to talk a little bit about tags here, uh, how to perform a read from a specific secondary and everything, and, and how to optimize the driver to, to perform the reads and writes that you want to. So uh, my name is Adam. I've been working at Percona for one year and a half. Um, I live in Sao Paulo, Brazil, so I'm Brazilian here. And this talk is going to be uh, regarding drivers. Uh, there is no. I'm, I'm going to use Python here in, in my example, but the, the driver behavior is almost the same for all technologies. So uh, I'm going to perform a create, a read, update, and delete operation using Python here after the talk. And I'm going to show how the, the, the driver finds and directs the, the write to the primary instead of trying to connect to the secondary and everything else. So the driver, in fact, the drivers are very smart nowadays. Uh, I'll talk how to sit, set a read preference uh, on database. Like, and you can also change your read and write preference based on the query that you're running. So you can have a application reading from the primary for most of the case, and if you are running a report or something that it is going to hurt the, the primary, so you can direct the, this connection for the secondary, and the drivers can, can do that for you. And I'll also talk about common mistakes um, that uh, people make. It usually is uh, just keep writing from the primary, so this is what I'm going to talk. Uh, so uh, as long as it's spread all over the world, uh, we have a, like a lot of drivers. Most of the drivers are like being written by the community, and MongoDB as well uh, are, is are, is writing uh, a few drivers. So this is like the most common dri uh, drivers languages we have for C, C++, Python, Go, Swift, and a lot of drivers that are, I put a link here because it's a long list. I don't want to talk. Uh, for all of them, even for Delphi. I used to be a Delphi developer, so I'm very happy they, they've put a, a driver for, for Delphi as well. So um, I'm going to show the Python example. Um, I have a, a replica set set up in my machine. It's a replica set in localhost. I have three hosts here, uh, three nodes running. And I'm going to route my queries to the primary and secondary and show how, how to do that with the driver. So, uh, the idea is almost the same for all the drivers. Uh, we just need to change the, the language in this case. So my minimum requirements here is a Python 2.7 or 3.300, uh, doesn't matter. Uh, the, Python the, the Python installer and the PyMongo, which is the driver for, for Python. So uh, here is a replica set concept. Uh, I'm using like five nodes here just to show like we can have more than three, so it's up, it's the maximum uh, number of secondaries nowadays is 50, so you can have 50 secondaries right now. And all the writes going to happen in the primary. So uh, we are not, MongoDB is not a moot master database. Um, so all the, the writes is going to be wrote here, and you can read from all the secondaries. Uh, we can also have delayed secondaries. Uh, I'm, not a I'm not going to cover it in this talk, but I'm going to talk about that uh, in other talks. Uh, in this case, uh, just uh, to like uh, add something to the, the Rick's uh, presentation, uh, our majority is going to be three here because we have uh, like five hosts. So we need to save in more than half uh, number of the hosts. So if I specify majority here, uh, I need to, to have at least um, two secondaries acknowledging my right in the primary. And if for some reason I lose this one, uh, my majority is going to be three on the, on this case. So uh, I'm not, now I'm going to show. Uh, just let me know if the like my terminal is big enough to see what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. By the way, it's São Paulo. Uh, is it okay? Is it visible? Better? Okay, uh, so here um, I have a replica set. Let me show. A, a replica set running right now. 
it's running my MacBook. Uh, I have a one primary, one secondary, two secondaries, just to save some memory here. Um, there's no uh, other configuration, just the default configuration. Oh, too small. So, like uh, I showed in the, the previous slide. And I have a couple of Python scripts right in here. So, uh, this is the first one. Uh, let me try to use. So um, I'm just importing some libraries here to connect to, to the MongoDB. It's very straightforward. And as you can see here, I'm connecting, but I'm not specifying any, any replica set. So the driver is not enough, uh, smart enough to like, figure out that it's a replica set. And the drivers you connect just to this host and try to do the operation that I'm trying to do. So in this case, uh, my, my 27017 is my, is my primary. So I'm going to run just a, a find here. Uh, the commands is almost the same. I'm connecting. Uh, this get database means use database. And then I'm going to run a find one and insert a document. So it's going to be. Very quick, uh, it run, defined, run the insert, and everything worked fine. But now I'm going to change the part. I'm going to connect to the secondary, and I'm not going to specify the replica set. So my secondaries are running in 18 and 19, so it doesn't matter here. Oh. OK. So if I try to insert a document, and now I'm not specifying that I'm in you know, a replica set, um, the driver will try to insert, and we've got a not master. So it's a common issue if we don't have master. If I'm not specifying the replica set, the driver is not smart enough to discover that it's a replica set. So now I'm going to add the replica set um, parameter, and the driver is going to map how my replication, uh, my, my, my replica set. So here I'm connecting to a secondary. My 18 part is a secondary. I'm going to run the same comments, but I'm not inserting anything. I'm just connecting and running a find. And at the end, I'm going to print uh, what was the nodes, like, like the instance that my, my driver found. So I'm going to run this right now. It will take a few seconds. Uh, it's just uh, because I'm using localhost, I don't have any DNS, so that's fine. I was supposed to add the it, it is in the it slash uh, host, but that's that's okay. So it's running the find command. It's discovering my, repli my replica set, so I can have more than one. I can have uh, 50 um, secondaries here. So as you can see, it run the find and find all the other hosts in my replica set. So, um, but it's running all the queries in the primary. So the default driver behavior is I'm going to read from the primary, always from the primary. And here is where we can start changing a little bit the, the driver behavior and say, hey, uh, try to read the secondary. Uh, try to read the primary. If you can't read from the primary, read from the secondary. So we are going to start using this here. So now the driver knows uh, the replicas in the replica set. I don't have any delayed uh, replicas here. Uh, if for some reason I have a, a hidden replica set, it's possible to have a, um, a node like a hidden or delayed um, node. 
uh, the driver is not going to use this this host as as a member of this replica set. So, uh, the next one here, I'm going to run an insert connecting to a secondary. So I'm connected just to one secondary, and then I'm going to ru run an insert here. So yeah, connected to the secondary. I don't need this. Uh, now my driver is mapping. Uh, it's connecting first to the secondary, then the, the, I re the, the driver is reading out the replica set, figuring out which one is the primary, and then applying the, the insert. So it's not going to fail. They are going to insert the document. And the driver did it for you, like it's transparent for the users. So it worked fine. So it's the document that I just inserted. And here I'll st start talking about a little bit of read preference. Uh, let me remove this. That's commented. So I don't need this right now. So you can either specify read preference in the connection. Here, this see my connection. Or you can specify by, sorry, by connection. And you can also specify by collection. So in this case here, uh, I'm saying for this connection, I prefer to read from secondary. So all the queries that you run here is going to use this read preference. But if I want to change for just one collection, I don't know, maybe one collection with logs or something like that, you can add this preference to only the collection. So, sorry, my cursor is in the... So our reads uh, using this, this collection here, uh, I call it full. Uh, this full here is gonna use this read preference. So it's gonna use always secondary preferred. So I can have like primary here for the, all the queries. And if I need to specify a different uh, read preference for from secondary, I, I can do that. So we have the connection, and then you can overwrite in, in, your, in your connection, sorry, uh, collection. So I'm going to run this. Uh, it's set to read uh, secondary preferred. So, yes. Um, and it's also, at the same time, it's running uh, an insert for me. And that's fine. The driver will direct this insert to the to the primary. So I don't need to worry about that. All the writes is going to be to the primary. So I'm not setting any write concern right now. So let me. <coughs> Same thing. Driver is going to answer me. Take a few seconds, maybe. Okay, it ran the insert command. Okay, it ran perfectly. So now um, I'm going to simulate a um, wrong white concern. So in this case, I have only three members in this replica set, and I'm going to ask the driver to wait for acknowledge for four uh, nodes in this replica set. So if you have some, for some reason, you have a hard-coded uh, the, the right concern. Uh, I'm going to show the kind of error that driver is going to show you. I'm connecting to the secondary, running an insert. So in this case, I'm connecting to the secondary, running an insert, and waiting for four hosts to reply me that they acknowledge my right. It's not going to work because we, I have just three. So it's trying to run the insert common, waiting for the fourth uh, member to answer. It should take 10 seconds to, to get a, the results. 
We can change that in the driver, so there's parameters for that. But I'm using all the default parameters here. Okay, uh, there are no enough uh, nodes to reply for, for uh, acknowledges. And I've created some snapshots uh, to share with everyone, so it's gonna be shared, uh, even the, the documents, is gonna, uh, the, the Python scripts are, will be shared with this, this talk. Uh, this is just what uh, I used here, so we can specify in the connection, you can specify by, by database all the kinds of reads and writes. And uh, here I just add this, uh, because it was a question regarding data center and everything else. When you are performing, uh, you are changing the read preference, you can specify tags. So uh, tags has been for a while in MongoDB, so you can specify, hey, I wanna just the data center one to acknowledge my, my rights, or I wanna just read from data centers two. So this is one thing that's available. I know that I, there's not a lot of people using that, but if I have like geo, uh, you the data, like, I mean, you have a, some data center in North America and Europe, you can specify where to write or where to read, okay? And I think that's almost all, so I'm open for questions. Any questions regarding drivers and... So what about C driver and iMongo performance issues? Well, uh, what I can say is they are using all, they are using the same API, so regarding like the difference between them. They have the same root at the end. Um, I really don't recommend using RRM, like um, this kind of tools that creates the query to you because you don't know what's happening behind the scenes. But once you are using that, uh, the performance is the same as the shell, like the, the client, the MongoDB client shell.